Taking here at BNRV doing the walkthrough on the Momentum M Class 381M. All right, right up here on the front of the passenger side of the coach, you have your HVAC. All right, here's all the bag that has all your HVAC uh, stuff into it. Um, there's a remote switch, your battery disconnect, and your inverter disconnect switch. Here's your 50 amp power cord for that for your coach. All right, next. Uh, Next compartment has your propane tank in it. All right, left to open it, right to close it. Um, up here we have your light switch. And then you have your your front compartment that has your Onan 5500 generator and your hydraulic fluid tank and your inverter solar charge controller along with your batteries inside. All right, next we're gonna go over to the driver's side compartments. One in the very front has your propane tank into it, along with your uh, your LP valve. Next compartment has your fresh water panel that has a utility shower at the top, satellite living room cable, auxiliary bedroom, uh, cable out, or coax cable outputs on that side. Um, this right here is going to show you how you want to set up all these switches for what you're doing. So if you're dry camping, power filling your tank, city water, winterizing, or sanitizing, uh, use these switches and follow the diagram to do that. This is your city water uh, port. This is your tank flush port. Um, bedroom and garage TV ports here. GFI outlet here. Um, water filter here. Uh, your low points come right out of here on these. Uh, black and gray tank valves. Um, and auxiliary fresh water tank fill, all in that. Um, and then your auto leveling system is on the door. Um, so you're just gonna wanna turn that on and then press auto level. So that's that compartment. Next we have the furnace vent. Uh, it's gonna be real hot, so don't put anything against it. Then your water heater uh, service vent, your 50 amp power plug in. On the slide on the driver's side is your refrigerator service vents. Um, here's your tank flush valve on this side and then we're going to keep moving on to the back you're going to have your fueling station in here so you have your uh, gasoline um, tanks with the with the hose all right now we're going to walk around the back we're going to look at your your porch all the way out i have it open and everything for the purpose of the video um, when you take these things out, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get these. Focus on that. You're gonna make sure we wanna get these under here and there's a little foot peg right here that you press down to get them out. All right, now we're going over to the driver's side or the passenger side again. Um, on your slide that's out here, I don't have it all the way out because we're close to another unit, but you have your uh, Rockford Fosgate speakers on the outside and then you have your TV that has um, the cable for satellite hooked up, so you just need to hook up your cable in that front compartment that I showed you guys earlier. All right, now we're gonna go inside. We're gonna start in the back in the garage. Okay, so right as you walk in, right to your left, it's gonna be the fire extinguisher. And then you're gonna have your emergency exit there. There, each one of the windows in the garage is an emergency exit. Um, they all work the same. They're all gonna be pushed, push this latch in, pull it up, swing it out, and then open it. They all double as windows as well. Um, so you do that and then uh, pull this red tab, get the screen out of your way. These are all gonna be vents here. So you're gonna wanna squeeze it and then twist it the way you want it to open. Um, in case you have a dirt bike back here or a quad or whatever, you don't want the fumes just sitting in here, uh, getting into your, uh, your living room. So you wanna have that open. Um, the bed, when you wanna bring the top bed down, you're gonna wanna bring the, the couch all the way up, flip these levers over like that and then uh, bring it all the way up and it'll click in and it'll pull the bed down. Uh, same thing, flip them the other way to get the bed uh, to stay up to the top. You do have an AC vent or an AC unit in here. All right, uh, those flaps, you wanna close them if you want the AC to go through all the units, uh, open them if you want it to go straight down from that unit. Uh, speakers all along the top. Here is this uh, the panel for your garage. You have your bed up down. Your, uh, your share light, your porch, cell light, your ceiling light, um, another light if you wanted to hook one up, awning, retract, extend, and another awning, retract and extend. Um, you have a bathroom back here in your garage. All right, you have the fan here, you go fan, one, two, three, four, 
vent open, vent close, and fan off. Um, pretty standard. Um, here's your light switch for that. Um, you are set up back here. If you were to set up a washer and dryer, um, you have the water hookups back here. Um, GFCI outlets all along the bottom of the unit. Um, this is the stair for the porch right on the back, right off the very middle of the back right there. Um, you can set up a sta stairs for that. That's the ladder for the bed at the very top. And then you have a rug for the, uh, the floor in here. Next, we're going to go into the, the coach, the living room. Right as you get into the left is going to be your TV and your other uh, Max Air uh, fan control. Um, above that is going to be your uh, bunk up there for extra storage or to sleep. Um, this is your slide, not all the way out, but almost all the way out. Um, you got your big recliner couch, nice four seater. Um, next we have the kitchen, all right? You have this table that pops up like that. Give you extra cooking space, extra heating space. Um, you do have some, uh, bar stools under your bed in your bedroom, um, to bring out here for that and an extra table if you need it. Um, have a pantry, a nice size pantry, fill it all up with uh, food and whatnot. And then you have a very big fridge and freezer combination. So uh, you're just gonna wanna turn it on and it's set to nine right now, which is cold. So you go one all the way through nine. Um, so that's gonna be the coldest. And then this is gonna, you're gonna choose between gas and electric or automatic on that. Next to that is your stove. Your fuel right on stove, you're gonna wanna open the Glass all the way up. Do not cook on the glass. Um, put your uh, put it into the light mode, and then crank this over, and then you have that, and then you can dial it down or whatever. Uh, same for your uh, your oven. All right, you're gonna want to get your pilot light started, and then you're gonna want to uh, light up the rest of it. Um, here's your microwave convection oven. All right, pretty standard. Um, a bunch of storage along the bottom here. And along the top, on the right one over on the top of this one, you have your entertainment center. And then you have your um, your solar panel, uh, control panel. Next is your, the control panel for the entire unit. Okay, so right now I have it on devices. Um, this you can control, let me focus in on that so you can see it a little bit better. You have your awning, your HVAC, lighting, slides, monitor panel, leveling, and generator. Um, so your generator, you can you can start from the in, the interior. You're just gonna want to press on the generator, and then you're wanna you're gonna just wanna click the on button right here, and then uh, it'll prime it. Do you see it says generator is priming, and then once it's done being primed, it'll start up. So it's starting up right now. You can hear it, it's very quiet, but you can hear it out there. All right, now we turn it off whenever we're done with it and it stops it. We're gonna go back. And then you can do your awnings, your slides, your lighting, your HVAC, all from the inside of your unit. Um, also, you can control the temperature if you press the home button. Uh, you can change the temperature in your bedroom, your garage, all your lights, your main, your main area, turn all your lights on or off. I mean, each one of those areas as well. Um, this also tells you that you have your fuel, you have very little fuel in here, black, gray, black, gray, they're both all empty. You got your fresh tanks full. Um, this is all your lighting and then your bedroom control right there. Um, right below that is going to be your uh, propane detector down on the floor. If the thing starts beeping, uh, open up your windows, turn your propane off, figure out where it's coming from. Um, and let it air out, don't light anything. And then here um, is your fire extinguisher. And then you have an entry, the light right in your entry door. Smoke detector above that. And then we're gonna keep going up the stairs uh, into your, your uh, master bathroom. Um, you got your toilet, you got your shower, pretty standard stuff. Some storage behind the toilet. Um, over here is your light switch. And then to turn your fan on in here, there's a little switch up here on the fan, you just want to click on and off whenever you deem necessary. Um, next, we're going to go into the bedroom. Uh, right now, I have the bedroom slide all the way out. Um, there's also a control panel in here for that, so you just go in and out with that. Uh, light switch, and then um, you have your satellite and your ca satellite cable port here, uh, GFCI outlet there, your TV backers right there. Um, you have some 
storage space here for some uh, random things. Plenty of storage space in your uh, slide. And then you have your light switches there, uh, USB outlets and GFC outlets all around there. Uh, storage under your bed, uh, emergency exit there. Under your bed, you have uh, the table and the uh, bar stools. Um, you have an AC unit in your bedroom that you can control from out on that uh, that panel that I showed you guys, um, and then your fire uh, fire detector up there. Um, that is the Momentum 381M.